Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to explore the uh, new M5 Stack Core S3. And um, let's just navigate this mind map to uh, see what it is. So um, if we look at the device, it's got um, lots of um, internal resources. Uh, so you can see them all here. Um, Real-time clock, power management speaker camera and um, a uh, inertial uh, navigation unit for with both accelerometer and uh, gyroscope each in three dimensions it's uh, got a touch screen uh, a magnetometer and a, and um, dual microphones so there's plenty here to do projects with uh, the cost is um, just under 60 US dollars, and it, it's only just been uh, recently released by um, M5 Stack. So what would you use it for? Well, for the Internet of Things applications, uh, lots of projects where you want to do your own thing, uh, smart home, and even for industrial automation projects. And the features? Well, uh, you can see it's got... Um, the uh, ESP32, but the latest version, the S3 version of that. Good comms, not only Wi-Fi, but it also has Bluetooth. Uh, plenty of flash memory and RAM. And there's a, um, a card slot where you can put in a uh, your own um, cards. And uh, here's all the devices um, that uh, are built in, quite a lot. Uh, so in quite an interesting little unit. Plenty of hardware support. You've got schematics and uh, help with the um, uh, understanding the system diagrams. And um, there are even that system diagram is um, on the back of the device itself. And the uh, device comes with 10. Uh, I to C support. So most of those devices are using the uh, I to C communications bus. And if we just go back and uh, have a look at the software support, so there's, there's hardware. Software wise, uh, you've got Easy Loader and um, there's Arduino. There's a couple of, um, there's a package there that has loaded into my Arduino IDE. And uh, we've got the uh, UI flow now this is the one that i've been using and exploring so i've never used version two in fact we should call that ui flow version two so uh, it's got um, a hardware model both internal devices and external and this is a bit different from the ui flow version one it takes a, a little bit to get used to but um, once you're um, done a couple of projects it's um, quite easy to use and there's a software model. Software model allows you to um, uh, connect the uh, devices that you need. Now, the advantage of doing all this is that it saves both RAM and um, uh, flash memory because you only load the um, components that you need to use in your software. So let's have a look at uh, my first project. So I've done some traffic lights, and um, you can see what my objective is. We'll have a look at what it looks like first. On the desktop, it's, um, it's like this. We've got um, traffic lights working on the unit itself using the um, Core S3's LCD, and that's synchronized with an external RGB um, series of lights. So there are three lights on the external unit, and that's connected to port B of the core S3. And um, the design is using both the LCD and an external RGB on a unit. And that's connected with a, a Grove cable to port B. Operation, as you'd expect, I've only got the traffic lights going for two seconds for red, yellow, and green. And um, hardware-wise, we've got the Core 3 and the RGB along with its um, Grove cable. 
I painted the um, user interface on the IDE, and we might have a look at that in a minute. And um, here is the the code. So um, we'll uh, have a look at that soon. And it all worked quite well. Let's go and have a look at the code. We'll just get out of, of that one and um, have a look at the uh, core three code. So here's the code on the IDE. It's uh, on Chrome. And um, you can see it's a little bit different. So if you want to choose your hardware, you can go over here and expand it. So the toolbox here gives you a minimal set. So you, you won't find the timers unless you actually uh, go to this software and load time. So if you want Bluetooth, you've got to load that. And uh, you can see the other units are uh, all there. And hardware-wise, you've got a, a choice of... Um, uh, hardware is actually... This is the internal hardware. You've got the uh, machine and the built-in hardware modules from the uh, ADC, the pins, selecting the pins. And here I've got pins that are selected. Pulse width modulation, the UART. Um, so you've got access. The only thing that's missing here is that there's no support for the uh, camera yet. But I guess that'll come out on the uh, the next one. And um, if you want to add external units, you can just do that here. You can see that I've added the RGB for my traffic lights, but there are some of the other ones. Not as many as there is for UI Flow version one, but I guess there'll be more support coming. And it's a little bit different. You've got more uh, awareness here of the initialization. So you can turn that uh, on and off. And uh, you set the initialization right at the beginning for the internal uh, hardware. And you've got something similar on the main loop. So you, um, you've you got a uh, an explicit um, instruction for the internal ha hardware and update that all the time. And so that's what we've got here. And um, there's no simple pause statement. If you want that, you just go to and use one of the timers. So here I'm sleeping uh, on the each transition of my traffic lights, and I'm using the um, the built-in timers for that. You might notice that um, you could get four timers. So uh, there's more awareness of... Um, the uh, architecture of the ESP32 there. And um, we'll have a, a look at the references. We'll just go back to the mind map. And um, the references are right on the top here. So uh, if you're interested in, in that, um, go to the M5 stack. There's both a, uh, a page for you to purchase the uh, core S3, and there's um, some help in the wiki where you'll find the documentation. And uh, that's all there is from me for the time being. So uh, we just have to... This is the um, M5 stack core S3. And it's a, um, a recent release of the ESP32 on a uh, computer module. And um, the computer module has quite a lot built in, including a camera. And what I have here is a uh, demonstration of its running traffic lights. And um, we've got um, that running internally using the computer's LCD, but we're also using a um, external RGB uh, for the traffic signals.